Video Magnifiers Part 1, Desktop, FlexArm Camera Models, and Head-Mounted Displays. Video magnifiers allow individuals with low vision to place text, graphics, or even objects under a video camera, and then have the selected image enlarged and displayed on an electronic viewing screen such as a computer monitor or standard television. Users manipulate a book and write on a sheet placed under a camera while scanning a computer monitor. There are six basic types of video magnifiers, desktop models, flex arm camera models, head mounted display models, handheld camera to TV models, a wide variety of portable electronic pocket models, and digital imaging systems. In this segment, we'll look at the desktop model, flex arm camera model, and the head mounted display model. The desktop video magnifying unit shown here has a standard computer monitor sitting atop a one piece structure that houses a video camera, system controls, and the proper illumination for functioning as a camera stand. The system controls shown here are a switch and two dials that turn the unit on and off, adjust focus, and control size of the magnification. The video camera and appropriate lighting focus downward towards a movable platform often referred to as an XY table, where the objects, in this case a magazine, can be viewed. With the reading material positioned under the camera, the user in this scene views the enlarged image on the monitor and moves the platform on which the reading material rests, rather than the magazine itself, when reading across and panning downward. Think here of the movement as that of X and Y on a horizontal graph axis. The large and easily distinguishable controls shown here allow for automatic or manual focus, image sizing, brightness, contrast control, and color adjustment. Images and text can be viewed as dark on light or reversed based on personal preference and ease of viewing. Some models allow the user to select a specific text and background color as demonstrated in this scene black text on a light green background. Users first learning to operate a desktop model often have problems manipulating the viewing table. This user finds it difficult to keep the lines of text straight while moving the XY table. As the table is moved from right to left, the line of text may move up or down. The text seems to blur or swiftly pass by. This movement can lead to a feeling of motion sickness and nausea. To counter this problem, better quality models have a control on the viewing table referred to as a friction brake. A knob at the center of the side of the viewing table closest to the user. Adjusting the friction brake illustrated in this scene allows users to move the table left and right without accidentally moving it up and down at the same time. In most cases, this adjustment will eliminate the problem of motion sickness. The enlarged text now moves smoothly, horizontally, in a right-left manner. Another problem encountered by some users is locating the beginning and end of lines, particularly when reading text in multiple columns such as newspapers and magazines. As the user pictured here reads across a line, he or she may inadvertently move into the next column, and suddenly the line that he or she is reading doesn't seem to make sense. In adjusting the table to locate the beginning of the next line, they may then move it too far and go back to the preceding column of text. This extra movement at the beginning and end of lines of text slows down the reader and reduces their reading efficiency. Better quality video magnifiers provide a feature on the viewing table to solve this problem, which is called margin stops. The next few scenes demonstrate how this feature is used. To begin, the margin stops are loosened and placed all the way to the outer edges of the table. After adjusting the magnification to the desired size, the user can move the XY table to a position where the beginning of a column is displayed on the left edge of the monitor, and adjust the left margin stop until it stops at the desired position. Next, they move the table to a position where the end of the column is displayed on the right edge of the monitor, and adjust the right margin stop until it comes to rest in the desired position. The reader can now begin reading and the table will physically bump into the stop at the end of the column. They can then move the table quickly back to the beginning of the line 
without having to visually locate it. Proper use of the friction brake and the margin stops can greatly increase a user's reading efficiency. Desktop video magnifiers are an excellent tool for lengthy, continuous text reading tasks. The unit and ones like it can magnify an image from approximately 3 to 60 times on a 20-inch monitor and facilitate reading everything from books and newspapers to prescription bottles. Desktop video magnifiers like the one being demonstrated here are also useful for viewing objects, completing handcrafts, drawing, and for writing. Two young girls operate the magnifier with ease. They smile. Video magnifiers of this type generally lack portability and are used at a fixed location in homes, schools, libraries, and an office. Some newer models address the portability issue by having the ability to fold up into a briefcase sized configuration with the screen and camera hidden away. The model demonstrated here even comes with a rolling case to make it more easily transported. The Vertex Pro model is shown next to its carrying case. Most desktop models only offer near viewing, but some manufacturers have begun making systems such as the one shown here that have a camera that can be rotated for intermediate and distance viewing. This can be a very beneficial feature for some users. A user adjusts the camera to enlarge handwritten material on a whiteboard at the front of his classroom. Desktop video magnifiers are priced in the range of $1,500 to $3,500 with the monitor included. In a similar fashion, but a different configuration, FlexArm camera models take the video camera out of the camera stand and mount it onto a movable arm above the material to be viewed. It's similar to a flexible light that can be positioned over reading material. In this case, of course, the light is a camera. Most all of the features of the desktop model previously discussed can be found on flex arm camera models of video magnifiers. These include zooming in and out on an image, automatic or manual focus, brightness, contrast, and color control, and the ability to reverse the color of image and background. The feature that differentiates flex arm video magnifiers from the desktop models we have just seen is their ability to view and display objects at a distance. With a few quick and simple sets that include moving the flexible arm and repositioning the camera, a FlexArm video magnifier can view and focus on other objects beyond those on its camera stand platform, such as writing on a chalkboard, a sign on a wall, or slides in a presentation. Here, a printed sign's image 10 feet away is clearly displayed. After viewing distance information, users can quickly readjust the camera to examine materials on the viewing table. The user turns the camera and flex arm to position above a book on a viewing table. Pricing for flex arm video magnifiers is comparable to the desktop units, putting them in the $2,000 to $3,000 range without monitor. Most video magnifiers display their enlarged images on a monitor or TV but another option is to view the image on a display mounted into a unit worn on the user's head, like a pair of glasses or goggles. This type of system with a head-mounted display allows users to view images a few inches away from their eyes. Similar to a handheld slide viewer, the head-mounted unit straps around the user's head. A head-mounted display will connect to different types of cameras, such as the flex arm camera, a handheld camera scanning the reading material, or a camera mounted into the actual goggles that are housing the display. With this type of magnifier, the image displayed on the monitor can be enlarged until the user finds a comfortable size for viewing. It also provides a full color mode as well as high contrast, positive, and negative mode. A wire dangles from one side of the goggles. At first, some users may experience difficulty with the physical movements required to operate the movable camera. But with practice, they soon learn to manage this useful tool. The user places the camera on top of the material, scanning for an appropriate segment. The head-mounted display system, shown here, has the camera built into the goggles that also hold the display. This type of system is particularly useful for viewing images that are far away, such as museum exhibits, 
live performances, speaker presentations, or writing on a chalkboard in school. Users are featured outdoors or examining equipment on a work table. Like most other video magnifiers, this system also has adjustments for enlargement, selecting color, and switching to high contrast, positive, and negative black and white image. Head-mounted models range between $2,500 and $3,500. Please view Part 2 of Video Magnifiers for information on the other types of video magnifiers. Copyright 2012, American Foundation for the Blind. All rights reserved.